Hey guys, welcome to Crafting with Julie. Today we're going to upcycle some old books and repurpose them to be spell books for Halloween props. These are some that I've already done. Basically with these four here, I just covered them in scrap paper. Scrapbooking paper, sorry. And use some stickers, 3D stickers on there. This is one we've done uh, about five years ago. It sits on our witch room table. This is the one we're gonna use this year. It's bigger than the others. I wanted to make one that was a little larger than an average book, so this should be fun. It has some really interesting pages in it and lots of old pictures. So we will be keeping a lot of those things in there and using those as part of the book. First thing we're gonna do is literally crumple every single page of the book. I gave Emily that fun task and it took a while. <laughs> After we finished doing that, we're gonna go back through and straighten all of the pages out. That'll give the book the look that has been used a lot. Now we're gonna tear a few pages and mark a few pages like by folding them down. Then we're gonna get the book wet. This is what the book looks like after I um, poured water over it and then left it to dry in front of a fan. Uh, it looks fantastic. Now we're gonna put it in the sink and pour some tea on it to discolor the pages a bit. I let it dry overnight in front of a fan, and then the next day, this is what it looked like. It was really good. I was very pleased with the outcome of this. Then I'm gonna work on the cover next. So next I, um, I got some scrapbook paper, and I, fit it around the book. I need to use two, obviously, because the book is big. And I use tacky glue and a little, some glue stick also. I decided to put the inside book cover, um, another scrapbooking piece on the inside too. As you can see, I left the binding. I left about an inch out on each side so that I could tuck it under. And I used a pair of scissors and a little bit of a paintbrush to tuck it in there good with some glue. It seemed to work fine. I didn't have any more of the green floral, so I just took a another um, piece of scrap of paper that I had and used it on the back, and it turned out fine.
I printed off the trick watcher from the computer and we glue that on the outside of the book on the front cover and then we used Mod Podge to cover all that up to give it a nice um, layer of protection over the front cover. So I found some spells online and printed them off, and I'm also going to use scrapbook paper. Um, I also burnt the edges of the spells before I glued them on top of the scrapbook paper. I also printed off some old Halloween photos and poems and glued those in in different places inside the book also. As you notice, I am putting a lot of scrapbook paper in the book and not a ton of spells yet, um, just kind of running out of time. So we will add more over the next few months. We'll just keep adding more and then, you know, maybe every year we'll add a few more as we see things at craft stores or as we come up with more ideas. So um, as the book changes, I'll definitely um, show you guys. Since I'm pretty much finished with the inside, I'm going to go ahead and put a layer of Mod Podge on the back cover.
Here's how our book looks so far. There's some old witch pictures I printed off too and put them in here. I'm gonna go over the spell pages with something called Distress Ink, and it will cover up all the white um, that's left over from the printer paper. Also make it look more old and vintage. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment and it would be great if you would subscribe to my channel. I have lots more videos to show you and lots of ideas.